and my son flew 80 feet in the air. He didn't make it. His skull crushed. His head was open. Sorry, y'all. I could, they wouldn't even let me go look at him. Um, I found out my son died through Facebook. They had already had his pictures of his body, like OG murdering him up here doing, thinking that shit funny. And I hope everybody happy because I, for years, I mean, following this and I mean, and watching everybody on here, I wish he dead. I wish he dead. And I used to say, how could y'all wish somebody dead? 21, I don't feel sorry for 21. All keep wanting from 21 was for her to care about her kids. And he tried to hurt her. He tried to hurt her using her kids, which was wrong. But he wanted her to care about her kids and put her kids first. And when she didn't do that for him, that made him like, let me go and eat this bitch up, which was wrong. But and she didn't show no, no, no type of like she had no type of feelings. I'm finna get down, y'all. But I feel like he just really wanted her. That's why he kept going back to her to see if she ever like, let me talk nice and let him know I do care about my kids. She never did give that side of her that she really do care about her kids. And that's why a lot of people so hard on her. He didn't really mean no ill stuff. And like people like put out hits on stuff on him and stuff like that. And you never hear him say, oh, I'm going to get somebody to come blow y'all house out. And then when he did, it was Internet. He never acted on none of the stuff he said he was going to do. Like, I'm going to do this to y'all. I'm going to do this to y'all kids. He never acted on nothing. I think all his shit was really fun games and acting and went, some of it went overboard. I'm finna hang up. But the only reason why I came on here is to say, because they keep saying he ran into her, he was speeding, motorcycles go their limit. People don't respect motorcycles. I'm against where, where I'm from. We got a motorcycle thing that people don't respect motorcycles. Okay, let me hang up. One more thing, one more thing. But he didn't like really run into her. He did run into her, but she tried to cut him off. All right, y'all, let me get off because I've been crying for two days because all this bringing back memories about my son and ain't nobody been empathetic and everybody want to cry now. And then tomorrow it's going to be back to the same thing and forget. They right. forget about you. Right. They forget about right. you. They don't care. And there's so much fakeness. And I'm just watching everybody just fake, fake, fake. And right. they care about you today and right. tomorrow. It's like, uh, OK, let's go, y'all. Can you drive me punk and I got to go. And, and th that's what I came up to say, punk, and like. Why y'all as hosts don't just man? Hold up, hold up, pumpkin. What's up? This burger, pumpkin. Let's oh, stop this shit oh, right no, from up. the motherfucking gate, man. Stop acting like that man was an angel. Now we hope that man do all right, but don't forget all that key, 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 and them two, three thousand church members was doing when he was talking about pumpkin on dialysis. Real, when he I'm was talking going. about everybody else, motherfucking dead kids. Y'all so weird as hell. Don't do that, man. We hope that man is all right, but don't be acting like he for victim in this shit. That man I talked about all kind of people, dead kids and folks. We all started laughing and joking on Facebook. Niggas came over here and got weird, mad, disrespectful. And now that something happened, niggas want to give niggas these angel wings, but don't remember these motherfuckers when they had their devil horns out. Don't do that. And I'm out. All right, but yeah, punk, like I was saying, why y'all don't love on each other if y'all know when Um, him talking crazy. about kids is big -o. That's Ma all I, big -o. I was speaking before he came up, and you just came up and cut me off, like, chill Because y'all all keep talking this big old talk. This is real life. Like, this take the, real, take the big old out of stuff. it. If you know you're going to love somebody That's so when weird. they're down, why don't you love them while they're up? Don't wait till they're knocked down and love on them. That's what I'm saying. That's real life stuff. Now shut your ass up. Hey, yeah, like I was again. saying, if y'all know when something happens to the person, y'all gonna be down and out. Why y'all don't just love on each other 365 days instead of like doing all this fake shit and then new people come on the app and see you dogging him out and like they like fuck him, then they see him dogging you out, then, then we grow up, like a dislike for him. Then when something happens, then we're supposed to like throw all that out hey, the window, like he ain't just disrespectful talking that's... about your kidney and your life and everything. OG and Pumpkin, that's what I was talking about. Like, we go around screaming Black Lives Matter, but we treat each other like shit. And these other races looking at us like, oh, we can do it to each other. We can do it to them because they're doing it to each other. You feel me? And that's mm -hmm. how they looking. We have to stop treating each other like shit. Pumpkin, I didn't mean to come back up here. It's so okay. Fun. But I just want to give you your um your W because you you know what punk you I can see in your heart and on your face that you really truly this is really bothering you parking. and I just want to say you know I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna pray for each and every one of y'all that's going through something right now because 
everybody, like I say, everybody is taking this differently. It's touching more people. It's touching more people more with more sympathy than some people. You know what I'm saying? Because I just come on here and I just look at Keith. I don't know Keith like how you know Keith. Mm -hmm. And I don't know Ashley how you know Ashley. But I see in your face that it really hurt you. And you know what I'm saying? So I just want to pray for you that you for your strength. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else on here that's going that it's affecting. I pray for them too because I'm not a hard core person but you know what I'm saying I just said what I said but I want to pray for everybody I just want to say shout out to Pumpkin Thank for you. putting her differences aside with Keith and being a bigger person even though Keith and his minions have bullied Pumpkin still to this day talk about her pampers and her dialysis like why would you bully somebody about pampers when you know they had health issues. But besides all that, Pumpkin still has love for Keith and sympathy for Keith. That is God-like behavior. Thank you, Pumpkin, for being an example of what it is to be a human being. Regardless of what somebody has done to you, Pumpkin, that's why I support you and I will always support you. You have a great heart. And I thank you. <clears throat> and I was thinking the same thing. I was just about to say you a good person and mm -hmm. i always known that ever since i started watching you you have a heart like you go off you do your thing but you got a heart of gold and you really don't want nothing bad for nobody else and i understand you know what you're doing for i mean you know like how you feel about keith yeah. it probably wouldn't be the same if it was on the other hand for you but look at you you still over here like it ain't no joke like and i just think that you just a good person for that i'm just giving you your flowers Thank all right you. drop them down hey pumpkin as i Thank sit you. down here i was just thinking um i don't know if you've seen it but yesterday pumpkin i mean um 21 was on live line with pastor p playing with her cootie cat for him yeah girl like she was she had some big glasses on and she was like y'all can see through my reflection like girl i seen it like she was on live playing with her cootie cat for pastor p call him daddy so i say this to say this what if 21 cootie cat is cursed because that bitch is stuck in the car she live in the car and everybody who has come in contact with her cootie cat is either is getting hit by cars Brian got hit by a car pastor p got hit by a car I just think 21 Cootie Cat got some voodoo on it. No shade. <laughs> and then y'all, I mean, can I just say this to, to you know, I'm I'm listening because I feel like everybody has a moment that you know, it's not all about my grieving. I feel like some people have missed emotions. So that's why I'm opening up in my platform and letting people get up here and say what they need to say. Because, you know, people have missed emotions. People feel this way about Ashley, but they love Ashley. They feel this way about Keith, but they love Keith. But at the end, in the beginning of the day, like I said, I was not an angel um, through us, you know, beefing. Keith said some things and I damn sure said some things. But I can't go off of, well, if I was in that situation, what he would have did. Keith is not me and I'm not Keith. I'm pumpkin. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here. And like I said, I'm not going to drag him. I don't feel any type of way. And, you know, and him talking about, uh, he talked about you. I use on dialysis, baby. I I used to do my my work too, honey. I used to, you know, do my little health reads on him, and and you know, and I used to talk about his auntie, his grandma, and you know, and everybody. Like you know that that was just our relationship back on Facebook. But that does not give me the right to sit up here and and wish death on nobody or pray that he die or say evil things while he's down and out. That's not what God will love. God, God don't like stuff like that. And and a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all gonna sit up, and this is what God is saying. How can you call yourself a Christian when you somebody that needs help? And just because they said this to you or said that to you, you just you just look at them and just wish all the worst. 
but I'm not built like that because guess what? I was once upon a time fighting for my life. I know how it feels to fight for your life. I know how it feels to 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 go through things. So I don't feel no type of way about, you know, no no ill wills about Keith. I pray that he recover. I pray that Ashley have a strong mindset while she's going through her trauma. You know, I, I sympathize with her and I love her as well. Go ahead, boo. Okay, punk in real quick because I got to get ready for work. Let's okay. talk about it. Keith, Keith, let's see. I keep hearing the same thing. It's kind of piggybacking off what you just said, baby. When you said that you choose not to. See, what it is is some of us that know the Lord, that really, really know the Lord, knows that he has no respect to person and that he is still God's child. And uh -huh. see, whatever cost that he has to bear, for what he's done, he's going to bear it. But here's yep. what's going to happen. God is going to get the biggest attention, and he's going to use Mr. Church to do it. See, we don't know the prayers that Keith pray. We don't really know what he's asking for. See, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but we do know that he allowed him to gather up a group of women and a group of men that do know the Lord, called it church, and knows that for real, for real, for real, in Jesus' name, for real. See, so that is what it's, it's going about. Punkin', God is going to get the victory here. And when it come to uh, uh, Ashley yesterday, see, Trina B came on with it. Because Ashley, God knew that Ashley and Trina B needed to be back in alignment. They spoke of you, Punkin, and I keep bringing it up because they did. They spoke of you. It was a, it was a beautiful live. It was two days ago. It was just them two, and they brought you up about who makes each other laugh. And what I'm saying is, I feel even Miss Arlene. We know that that was a praying woman. She was. And so when Ashley put took that, when she posted that about, she took her off. That's because Ashley also knows that her mama was a praying woman. And Ashley wanted peace. And she wanted God to do his will. Ashley going to be all right, y'all. But we got to mm -hmm. hold her up. It's Bud Bud's birthday. Uh, a baby girl is pregnant. We got to hold her up. She got a heart for Keith. We got to do this like we ain't never done before. And I promise y'all, I promise y'all, the ones who heed to this call, Pumpkin, baby, it ain't a bean that'll be worth it. Baby, I promise you, y'all will get everything you so desire. Far beyond ego. Do you hear me? Far beyond ego. And if he wants, and the ones he wants to do it, gonna do it. Just heed the call. Sometimes, Punky, tune out this mess. Sometimes we gotta tune it out. Yeah. Because you, 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 everybody don't, people are tired of struggling. We don't know what was going on with Keith. But the one thing we do know, he found peace in fishing. See, we we got a glimpse of what he was talking about before it happened. He was at peace fishing. So let's continue to let the peace prevail. It's going to prevail. I promise y'all, God will get the last and the final say so. I promise y'all. I love you, Pumpkin. Love you too. Yes, I'm going to speak on Miss Arlene. I'm going to say, you you know, you got an angel, you lose an angel. And, you know, with her daughter being, you know, about to give birth and all that, mm -hmm. like, you you yeah, that's how it go in life. That's, that's it. So, we just going to keep her uplifted and just, this is just a big mess, girl. I ain't never mm -hmm. seen nothing like this in all my days, honey. And I don't know, honey. This is just a big, big mess. This is a mess. Can I say this before I forget? Because I'm old and my mind don't work That's that well. That's what I want to say. All right. Pumpkin. Hmm. You know what? Now, that last person that was not this one right here, but the one I was speaking about, Keith, and, uh, you know, uh, she don't, we don't know what. He said, or how he pray or whatever, but listen, pumpkin. So this 
I can't, well, the spirit told me that. Well, this is, I don't know if it was the spirit or just my mind, my imagination. Now, you know how God used Saul, right? Yeah. God can use people in all different mysterious ways. Now, he can have used Keith because Keith was on here and he was saying pastor and he had his followers. He said that was a church. Okay, but remember when Jesus first came and he picked out his um, disciples? Yeah. And who, who, who were Peter and Paul? They was out there fishing, right? Yeah. Okay, and they were, and then he said, you could be fishermen for me. And now um, Keith liked to fish. He was out there fishing yesterday, they say. And then look what happened as he on his way from fishing. So you never know when Keith, if Keith come up out of this, if Keith come up out of this in his right mind, you don't know how God going to use him. But if, if he do it the right way, he going to be awesome. You know what I'm saying? He going to be awesome because they already follow him in his dirt. But in his good, he going to be awesome if he do the right thing. So I'm just saying, you know what? We never know what God's plans is for us. He could be using Keith in the Yeah, she right. We may not never know how God is going to use us, but I don't know. It's weird how don't try to make like make him seem like he Jesus or he a disciple because that's not the case. That's not the case. I just don't understand how people can agree with a lot of this demonic stuff that people be doing. I'm not dogging this man out. I don't. I'm not going to put my feelings into it. That's why I never said nothing about him. I, when I last time I came up here, I said, you're a good person. But it's just weird that people is over here making it seem like he Jesus. And he not. No, what? That ain't I no real that, truth. Ma'am. I, I no, never I, said that. No, I never no, said what that. I what you said, said that. Oh. I said people, not you. You ain't oh, have to come okay. back up here. Okay. It wasn't about you. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I could come up here if I want to. It had like nothing to do here, with you talking to too. me. Okay. Well, you didn't say that. You I don't give a fuck. It had nothing Jesus. to do with you girl. talking to me. Yeah, girl. girl go suck on a bitch, lemon. You go suck my asshole while it's dirty, bitch. I don't give a oh, fuck. Uh, uh, Shut no, the fuck up talking no, to me, you nasty bitch. No. That's what that's what I will not do. Yeah, that's yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. That that's what you want. Talk faster. You just said you was old in your mind. Ain't working right. Anyway, ma'am, I'm not going to argue with you. I, I just came up here because I thought that you said I said it. I'm not your bitch. I, I didn't call you no bitch, and I'm not going to call you no bitch. I'm now, not you gonna always just came up here you. trying to preach about God, and look at you demonic ass bitches. Mm -hmm. That's a good representation. Now, who is you calling a bitch? Because I never called her a bitch. All I said, I thought she said, um, I said Keith was Jesus. I'm not, that's what I was just coming back up to say. I never said Keith was Jesus. I just said God uses people in mysterious ways. He used everybody. Everybody, you do you think every preacher that's preaching was a saint from the gate from the gate? No. Somebody, everybody was a sinner. Shit. The fuck? Take sister. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but look, I am a bitch. How about that? Anyways, cleanse your energy tonight, sister. I know this is a lot to take in, and this is strictly for you. This is a lot to take in. I see your demeanor. I know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cleanse your energy. Everybody ain't going to feel the same. We know that. Everybody got their own opinions, and they ain't going to react the same way. We know that. Yeah. But it is a lot to take in, so make sure you um cleanse your energy tonight okay yes if you need some help i got you thank you sister okay and then and then it's 1.9 k people in here please y'all let's get the host thank you thank you guys you're welcome so i just came in your room boo i just came back in your room and somebody somebody said something um about Pastor being God or something. I might have misunderstood it, but 
Y'all must not know the Bible. Y'all must not know these stories. Didn't God use um, a bum? Don't God use alcoholics? So y'all cannot use that because people still in their flesh don't mean God don't use you to talk, to encourage, to prophesy, or whatever the case may be to the next. So just because Keith was doing what he was doing don't mean God didn't use him. And I'm not, I'm just saying that, you know, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, all I'm saying is some of y'all don't make sense. And you can tell some of y'all don't read the Bible. Now, I'm not all into the Bible. There's some oh. things I know and some things I don't know. I can't quote the Bible from the front of my butthole to the back. But God know my heart. You see what I'm saying, pumpkin? Mm -hmm. God use the fools in the street. God, you homeless people. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That brings that back. Who are y'all to judge? Um, excuse me, hold on. I ain't even trying to. I'll let you finish. Wait a minute. Breaking news. I was just over there in Gucci's live, and there is a lady up in the box. Gucci was reading a piece of paper. Uh, something about they trying to say that a uh, pastor has internal bleeding and it's probably not going to make it. Do not quote me right, y'all, but a lady did get up in his queue and said that it's on somebody named Church Elb's live. So I don't know if it's true. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I just heard. We just read Miss White Post. She said, keep it stable. And doing good. Oh, okay, that's good. That's Gucci, good. Ain't nobody Gucci, coming. Gucci ain't nobody coming spread shit. I just said I don't know if it's true, but that's just what I. That's Gucci what they been. Said. Gucci been doing this crazy shit since this happened. I blocked him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, that's that's what they saying over there, honey. Miss White wrote a post saying that uh, Keith is stable. Keep him in y'all prayers, James, and she got everything. She said he's doing, he's doing. Right, Keith is alive and stable. He's not on no no life support, nothing like that. And I don't know what piece of paper Gucci is reading this off of. Gucci all the way in Chicago, Illinois. In somebody's vandal apartment. Thank you, babe, for the gifts. How do Gucci know anything? Gucci don't know shit. Like, these people are so weird. Gucci, Gucci been like really acting weird. Right, his family say he's stable. They just, they just say all type of fucked up shit. I woke up this morning with a headache. It's too much. My ears is ringing. My ears ringing and shit. Thank you, babe, for the gift. Like this is this is crazy. Like it just don't. It just don't feel. Like this just don't feel weak. Like it just don't feel real. You know. It just feel weird. It just feels so weird. Yes, welcome to take your L. Hey, how you doing, Nisa Pooh? Hey, Auntie. Uh, I just want to say this. Everybody, so I know you say it because of Keith, but he never came back and apologized to you. 
but you always seem to be the bigger person and apologize. But everybody hollering about Kiki, hell, if it was uh, Pumpkin, anybody else in the car with, he wouldn't even be saying, I hope God, I hope she be good, God, because he didn't believe in God. So why everybody so sad and shit? Because if it could have happened to uh, Brandy, Elle, anybody he didn't like, so what? He wouldn't been on that holiday. I'm going to pray for them and the little uh, little holes he got behind them. They would have been throwing up emojis, laughing emojis and shit. So everybody do what they do. Everybody pray a person the way they want to. Like they was hollering how Dale was standing over across the street. If I don't fuck with you, nigga, I don't get nothing about you finna die, nigga. I don't fuck with you. You know, they hollered Dale was standing by. Oh, God. Dale didn't supposed to walk up over there. He might have felt some type of way. Dale did what he's supposed to do stood back and did with everything. So you can't tell people how to fight a fight, how to fight a fight. You cannot. That's all I'm saying. You know, because if it had been you, if you, if something happened to your kidney today or whatever, he'll be over there going in on you, baby. You know that. Thank you know you. that. That's all. But you ain't like that, though. He'll be going mm -hmm. in on you. That's all I wanted to say, Nisa Pooh. Yeah, don't be, don't let him get you down because soon that motherfucker get well. He ain't gonna come on that app and say thank y'all for the prayers. He don't believe in God. Bye bye. What goes around comes around. Yeah, Connor is a motherfucker. Thank you. What the fuck are talking that shit? Thank you guys for the gifts. Oh Lord. Oh. I look at you with your little hair like that. You look like a little girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but Pumpkin, you know what? You just calm down, Pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? You have to calm down and just pray. You know what I'm saying? For your own self too, Pumpkin. Because you takes on a whole you know, when when something happened to people, you take it on. You know, my, my brother was like that girl. When Michael Jackson passed away, girl, he called me, Kim. Michael Jackson passed away. I said, oh, okay. You ain't gonna be crying for Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? It was like whatever somebody else was, their sorrow, he just <laughs> took it upon and was personal. You know what I'm saying? That, when I look at you now, Pumpkin, you so stressed behind what's going on till you forgetting about Pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, Pumpkin, but you, you know what I'm saying? Pray for yourself, Pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? Massage your temples, Pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself a little massage on a little rub, Pumpkin. All right. Keep doing my prayer, girl. Thank you. Yes, we're going to take your L. We want to give an L to. Thank you. Well, I want to give an L to the people that are steady, just negatively uh, speaking. Uh, Pumpkin, we remember some of the things you said, uh, but here's the thing. You know, this is, um, no one wants to see a mother hurting. Imagine Keith's mother. Since everybody been, I've seen some people bring that up about how he disrespected his mother. His mother is by his side. Okay? Now, mm -hmm. we remember you saying, Pumpkin, that... Uh, when he met up with Scalpnum, these were the same ones that shot. So here, here's the thing. Can y'all just all just stop talking about Keith? Because there's some of us that's in the church, with the church, love the church. Y'all called us old hoes that did this for the church and all that. We love this man. And we just would like for everybody to stop talking about it because ain't none of y'all the representatives. They got a discord. I, I don't give a fuck about what you're trying to say. I can say whatever I want to say about him. I'm sitting back and I said what I said. I don't give a fuck about what you got to say, bitch. It ain't, right. about, the, it ain't about the motherfucking church. Raggedy ass hoe. How the fuck she gonna come on here and just tell you? you, know, you old tell you and bitch. your people. Fucking phone is cutting off. Let me get off so I can cuss this bitch out. How she gonna get her motherfucking ass up there and talk about we love Keith, we from the church. Bitch, you ain't in no motherfucking church. God forgive me. You know what? She just what Ebony said last night. Them motherfuckers right there will make you say some ugly shit about Keith. Now everybody was on the on the um we pray for Keith and we this and we that. We feel sorry for the you know everybody. But this bitch gonna get up there and try to tell somebody that we love Keith. 
girl, everybody loved people. Pumpkin loved herself too, but when y'all was riding her like a dog and when you ride everybody else like a fucking donkey, what you fucking think that somebody ain't gonna ride Keith? It, we said we feel sorry for Keith, bitch. Nobody got to be on here because you up there want to, oh, we, we, we appreciate it. You don't say nothing because we love Keith. Motherfucker, do you love your own self? Shit, did that motherfucker ever buy you a motherfucking popsicle? Did he come pay your light bills? What the fuck did Keith do for y'all to make y'all want to love Keith like that so much? Ain't then I'm going to brainwash y'all motherfuckers. That's so motherfucking stupid. Girl, as much as I love my husband, if that motherfucker do something wrong out here in these goddamn streets, you think I'm going to come out here and be, y'all don't want y'all to come out here and say that about my husband because I love my husband. Keith did some dirty shit to people on here. Everybody ain't going to forget and forgive what Keith done done to them and how he made them feel. He said some hard shit to people. He did deep down in some people's wounds. But we as people can push that aside and say, well, we pray that Keith be yourself. You just went off on me because of what I said. Now you coming up here saying something completely different from what you was just talking about. I never said nothing. I said, said, this is what I said, motherfucker. I said, they will make you say some shit about Keith. Didn't I just say that, pumpkin? I said, they will make you say shit about Keith. Yeah, I said, we're lady... already saying we pray for Keith and we feel sorry for Keith. But when she came up here and said what she said, because she want to make somebody not say nothing about Keith and not say this. And I said, I said, he said some hurtful stuff for some people and some people cannot forgive him for what he said. Motherfucker. That's what I said. Keith ain't never said shit to me because I don't get on his motherfucking live or, or in his box or wherever his panel or whatever for him to say nothing to, off the wall to me that's what i said so bitch get your motherfucking ears right yes welcome to take your l Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. I understand he may have said something um, about you in the past, but wasn't you just... I'm sorry. I don't mean to say it like that. Wasn't there a meet and greet that all of y'all were together at, right? At Ivy's house? Mm Mm-hmm. Was this after or before he talked about your kidney? Okay, so I don't... I'm just asking. I'm just asking. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm not the one that's saying anything. Like, I. I'm. Simply yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying you were saying it, baby. Okay, but, but people not understanding feel, that feel, y'all like, have hung out since then. You know. What I mean? Okay, so look, listen. People are calling in saying whatever they feel and how they feel. I, I, I still feel the same way. I don't wish no ill will towards Keith. Okay. And after that meeting, greet me and Keith never hung out after that. But that's not e- that's either here or there. That's not that's not what's today, okay? So you know, I in in congregation or whatever y'all. This this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. My relationship 
and my and, and my entertainment ship is with Keith. You know, half of y'all is new. Half of y'all don't even know the history behind Keith or any of our relationships. So I don't have to, I don't owe you no explanation of when I hung out with him and when was the last time I talked to him. I don't owe you that explanation. I'm sitting here to this day still saying how I feel. And I feel like don't nobody need to be speaking wrong on him. And I have said, I have said messed up things to keep as well. Okay? This not about me. Y'all mm -hmm. not going to take me out of character. Y'all not going to make me change my heart. I really feel bad that this is happening to him. It doesn't matter when I hung out with him and when, when the last time. That's not what I was saying, though. My, the point is for everybody else to realize if you move past it, then why they keep bringing up old shit? If you, right. if it was that dad, you would have never been around the man. That's what I'm trying to say. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So they keep bringing up all this old stuff. Old stuff. We passed that shit. It, it, it's never mind. Have a good day, everybody. Love you. Sister, I just want to say that I'm proud of you that you ain't just went there. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, sister. Hello. I'm sorry. Welcome to take your L. of these people are just slow and it's not even no disrespect but they act like they not hearing what you saying you've already admitted to you know you said bad shit he said bad shit to the beat i said bad shit Ashley, brandon every everybody on this app has said something bad the people in the comments keep a lot of shit going people in the comments took a lot of shit off so what makes the people in the comments even any better than the host when a lot of them keep a lot of shit and themselves? So we all got to worry about some motherfucking karma if you want to be real. And then she was talking about well, what is she done? This is what I know. I know I was on bed rest. I watched you. Okay, you made me feel good. You made me laugh. I know when I watched Keith, he did the same thing. I know when Auntie would sit up and tell her stories without reading people, she made me feel a certain type of way. So I have a certain type of love every day for all of you motherfuckers if you want to keep it real. But all of these women talking about, you know, fuck them and they don't care about this. And then they always want to bring God into it. Well, bitch, how you going to say, well, fuck them and this and this and that and he deserves it and then go around and talk about God? I don't know what none of y'all would do. I'll, I can't say what nobody's going to do. Because I don't know none of y'all personally. So I'm not going to assume nothing about none of y'all. But I tell you this. You and even I took all of to be a long time ago when he was talking all that crazy stuff about women. Mm -hmm. But he told me who he really was during this situation. Because just like you, he didn't know that bullshit they were trying to bring to him when it came to this situation about me. Yeah. I respect both of y'all for that. How many people need to get off their little soapboxes? Because he's like he did anything more wrong than the next day, you or Ashley or Trina B or Lo or whoever the fuck be saying all that old crazy shit up on his app. So the people in the comments, like for real, for real, they are some of the worst. A lot of people in the comments are worse. They lie and they keep shit going all the time. All day. All damn day. Thank you. All right, thank you. No shade, she ain't lied. She ain't lied. I, I just want to change the narrative real quick. If y'all support Punkin, and y'all know she going through this shit, though, real shit, though, it don't matter how, what was said, who said what, quit trying to come up here and change the narrative and trying to make this lady read this man. Stop. If you support her, support her, because right now you're showing how fake you being. Yeah. Just, just, just support Punkin. And God damn it, that, that's just it. Just support her. However you feel, if 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 go in another live that's talking negative about him and let it out that way. But if you if you carrying this lady badge, don't come up here talking about some well Punkin, what about the time when he said this or he said that? Who cares like Punkin said? It's all about the now. So if you support her, be there for her and support her. Period. Exactly. That's true. Exactly. 
because at the end of the day, none of us are perfect. We all sin. Whether we talk bad about somebody, whether we curse, whether we, whatever we, I'm sure, we all sin every single day. And no sin is greater than the next. But no one deserves to D-I-E. It's just that simple. And I'm loving the way you are keeping your composure. Because in a couple of days, all of our ass is going to get... <laughs> that is not true. Hey, boo. No, I just, I just feel like, I just feel like some people are, thank you, bae. I just feel like some people are like trying to like do a distraction. And, um, I think the congregation that don't like me, they listen to the, the people that, you know, feel some type of way. So they're going to come with they, you know, oh, fuck that. And blah. congregation and, and outlaws supporters. Y'all, this is not about this not this not who right who wrong what i said what he said this is about right now people of human that have blood that have senses that have a conscience this is about us sticking together okay this ain't this ain't what he said to me a day ago this ain't about what he said to me a what's up ago. man what up? What are you doing? This is about this is about us keeping a positive attitude and a cool booty. And when I say a cool booty, because everybody hot, everybody just ready to just explode. Oh fuck him, fuck her, fuck it, do this and do that. But no, that's not how we move. That's not how we move. That's not how we move. If if was a fifth, we all be drunk. If I'm not him, he's going through this. He needs everybody love and positive thinking and positive words. We don't need to sit up and be mad and beating and beating. It's like beating a dead horse. Oh, he said this. And, oh, but you said that. And, oh, but this and this and this. And stop talking about him. And, and blah, blah, blah. Lord be to the glory. Can't nobody tell me. Fish manage and control what I say out my mouth. Because I paid this bill on this line to go live and say what I want to say. So for her to call here and do all of that. And get mad. That that was uh the girl that they put out. And get mad and, and get angry and all of this. And that's crazy because she was once a lady that used to sit on the phone and and talk to me, you know? And 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 she used to tell me like little certain things that will go on in her life. And you know, we used to have that that communication and for her to act like that is just so weird. You know, some people they 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 wanna make beef that they don't know nothing about. Y'all are holding a hurt and a and, and a hate and a funky fart in for some y'all don't even know nothing about. Y'all took that hate. Y'all y'all took our roasting and y'all took us uh uh doing a thirty doing a, the the dirty dozen on each other. Y'all took that and made it a hate in y'all heart. And this right here is a lesson that everybody needs to know. And unfortunately, yes, for us to have big platforms, this is this is what happens. We are made we are made examples of. So if y'all walking around with a hate in y'all heart because of another 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 entertainer was going at it with another entertainer, you need to really seriously get up off the app and get some therapy. Seriously. Cuz Keith is laid up in the hospital right now. Trying to get his stuff together, and y'all still holding on to a and a, a dislike, and he ain't even on it. Grow up. You don't know. You don't know me from a can of paint. Like I don't know you from a can of paint. I love just mad at something that y'all don't even know what y'all mad at. It, do, it doesn't matter what he spoke on me. 
or what I spoke on him. That was our ignorant relationship. It doesn't matter. If I'm if I'm not sitting up here fucked up about it, why you fucked up about it? And if and if you love me that much that you are if you love me that much that you are mad at a man right now that is fighting for his life and you still got fucked up words about it, don't love me like that. I don't want that love. I don't want nobody loving me that can look at a that can look at a person in need and hate them off of what they said to me. I don't want that. I don't. I don't. I don't want that type of love. And I don't want to gain the world or lose my soul to make y'all walk around here and hate a human being off of some words. I don't want that love. I want a love that a person can see the companionship that I have for the next human being and have the same companionship and realize, well, damn, it was nothing but entertainment for her. I don't, I don't want y'all hating nobody. Because when you are, when you are dead and gone, you got to pay for that. I'm going to be right here on the earth doing my big one. Uh, we're going to take your L. Who you want to give an L to? While you laid up somewhere, got the, got the, got to feel the wrath of the hate of somebody else's, of somebody else's entertainment. It's not that deep for me, y'all. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Don't ever, don't ever let nobody give you a straight ticket straight to hell over some words. If you love me, love my entertainment. Love what I bring to you. Don't ever take nothing that you may think that you feel that I dislike or I hate somebody. Don't you ever take that hurt on. Let me bear my own cross. Okay? So with that being said and done, I want y'all to get y'all mad right. And I want y'all to check y'all temperature. Because the women that the women that support me, that loves who I am as my entertainment, we don't move like that. We don't have a heart of hate. We don't have a heart of dislike. We laugh at every word that come our way because we know. That is a word. <laughs> it's entertainment. It's a moment. It's history. It's building character. And not building character to hate or to sit up and pray on somebody else's downfall while they fall. We don't do that over here. So if the congregation want to be ignorant, let them be ignorant. That's them. But I expect my platform to be on a higher standard. We don't move like that. We not getting up here. We not dragging him and kicking him. We not going to sit up and wish death on him. We wouldn't do it to 21. We wouldn't do it to low. We just don't like the things that 21 have said. And we don't like the things that Robert have said. But we understand because they have no companionship. They have no mercy. They have no love. But we don't move like that, y'all. We ain't going to war. We ain't we ain't doing that. We ain't gonna sit up and, and talk about, oh, remember he said uh blah 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 three years ago. Yeah, yeah, we don't care about that. That was three years ago. And every action, there's a reaction. So remember, all y'all broadcasters that y'all love is not perfect. We not perfect. Okay? We, we not perfect. And the only reason why you don't look at me and say, oh, you was wrong because you love me. But I said some fucked up shit too. I have got out there and I have said some things and did some things and, 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 and really got out on him like he got out on me too. So, you know, with that being said and done, I know y'all can overlook it and y'all can turn the cheek because y'all feel like I love you, but never love a person to a point that you start looking at their wrongs and turn it into rights.
We don't do that. 